Understanding the Cycle of Disasters The disaster landscape is changing. Disasters are becoming more common and repetitive, and the underlying issues that contribute to them are worsening. The Model for Adaptive Response to Complex Cyclical Disasters, or MARC-D, takes this new reality into account. MARC-D views disasters as having four distinct phases, anticipation, impact, adaptation, and growth and recovery. Like water changing from solid to liquid to gas, disaster phases are complex and can shift back and forth. Multiple phases can also coexist, just like water. In the anticipation phase, we prepare for an impending disaster, whether immediate or in the future. Preparation is key to the anticipation phase. The impact phase happens when a disaster hits, causing acute effects. Adaptation can be brief or prolonged, depending on the disaster's nature and extent. Growth and recovery is the resolution phase, but another disaster can send us back to impact at any time. Mark D also identifies three faces of a disaster, survivors, community leaders, and responders, each with unique needs and roles. Mark D guides effective responses for each phase as well as the different populations. For example, community leaders assess and restore basic functions during adaptation, while responders plan and prepare during anticipation. Mark D, helping communities prepare for and recover from disasters. Learn more at marccd.info. Brought to you by Vibrant Emotional Health, the Group for the Advancement of Psychiatry, the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services, and the Missouri Department of Mental Health. This work is supported by funds made available from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, National Center for STLT, Public Health, Infrastructure, and Workforce, through OE22-2203, Strengthening U.S. Public Health Infrastructure, Workforce, and Data Systems Grant. The contents are those of the authors and do not necessarily represent the official views of nor an endorsement by the CDC, HHS, or the U.S. government.